In the final video for section 1.4, we're going to look at some worked examples of calculations based on balanced equations. So the idea of this video is to give you a chance to practice doing calculations based on balanced equations. There's going to be eight questions in total. So you do the first question, and once you've completed it, you watch the video of me working through the question, and then you move on to question two and do the same thing. And hopefully by the time you reach question 8, you'll be very good at doing calculations based on balanced equations. Before we start with the first question, however, I'd like to just briefly remind you the method we're going to use for all 8 questions. So the questions take this sort of form format. What mass of oxygen is required to combust 4 moles of methane and you're given the balanced equation? So it's a 5 step method. Remember firstly, we circle the two substances of interest. Secondly, we write the mole ratio based on the balanced equation. Thirdly, we calculate the number of moles given in the question. And this is the point at which different questions deviate. Sometimes you'll just be given N, you'll be given the number of moles as you are in this question, four moles. Sometimes you'll be given a mass, and you need to use N equals mass over GFM to work out the number of moles. And sometimes you'll be given a concentration and volume of a solution, in which case you'll use the equation N equals CV to work out the number of moles. So this is where the questions will deviate. You'll use one of these three methods for part three. Whichever one you used, part four, you substitute the number of moles into the mole ratio and then finally you calculate the mass of the unknown. So let's move on now and look at the first question. So question one is calculate the mass of water produced when three moles of calcium carbonate reacts with an excess of dilute hydrochloric acid. Now the idea is that you now stop the video, try that question yourself, and then once you've completed it, look at the worked answer, then move on to the next question and do the same. Step one. Step two. Step three. Step four and step five. Question two. What mass of water is produced when 160 grams of methane burns completely in the air? Question 3. What mass of calcium nitrate is produced when 100 cubic centimetres of 2 moles per litre nitric acid reacts with excess calcium?
Question 4. Calculate the mass of oxygen required to produce 0.5 moles of carbon dioxide in the following reaction. Question 5. Calculate the mass of hydrogen required to react with 56 grams of nitrogen. Question 6. Calculate the mass of carbon dioxide produced when 50 cubic centimetres of 1 mole per litre hydrochloric acid reacts with excess magnesium carbonate. Well, question 7 is a question taken from the 2014 past paper. Non-ane C9H20 burns to produce carbon dioxide in water. Calculate the mass in grams of carbon dioxide produced when 32 grams of non-ane is burned. And finally, question 8, and this is taken from the specimen paper. In another reaction, 1 gram of calcium carbonate reacted with excess dilute hydrochloric acid. Calculate the mass in grams of carbon dioxide produced. <laughs> 